10 Woodworking Projects That Sell, Easy Projects With Free Plans A little extra income here and there can make a big difference in most people's financial situation. If you've got some tools, and a little know-how, you can make some extra cash by focusing on woodworking projects that sell. Woodworking is such a rewarding hobby, why not do what you enjoy and earn some extra cash in the process, right? Before going into the video, discover the world's largest database of 16,000 woodworking projects with step-by-step -step plans even if you don't have a large workshop or expensive tools. Click the first link in our description to get access to the plans. Now let's get into today's video. It's even possible to earn a full-time living with selling wood projects. You just have to learn your niche, market effectively, and learn how to sell online. But where do you start? What kind of wood projects sell nowadays? Keep watching to find out what it takes. I've done some legwork, researched woodworking projects that sell on sites like Etsy all day long. In fact, I've found 38 of the best-selling projects that are still relatively simple to build. I then found free plans for a variation of each of these high-selling projects, and link to them right here on this page, which you'll see below. But that's not the whole picture. You need a plan going forward if you want to be successful making money with woodworking projects that sell. So here's the plan. If you're ready to break into the world of woodworking for money, then grab a drink, have a seat, and keep watching. Here's the overall process for making money with woodworking projects that sell. Step 1. Hitch down. Find a market you want to focus on, like gifts for children, home decor, practical furniture, gifts for women, etc. The idea here is to build a following of fans. These are your best customers and they'll come back for more and more. This works best if you find a specific market, and try your best to stay within that market. If you want success, here's what you should live by, it's not about being a little helpful to everyone. It's about being super helpful to the right ones. Step 2. Product Research You can start right here with the list on this page. Get a few ideas for your market. You don't have to fully commit at this point, but you have to start somewhere, so get a product idea or two and that's a good start. Step 3. Location 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 Decide where you want to sell your items, and do some market research there, Craigslist, Etsy, your local venues. Pay close attention and make notes on things like pricing, product descriptions, popular features, not just popular projects in general. Ultimately you want to understand what price range you should be working in, and what the people in your chosen market want to see, as well as what's really selling well. Step 4. Be better than the rest. To get the upper hand against your competition, you'll want to do better than they do. Add features, colors, or package it as a group of items that complement each other. Put yourself in your customer's shoes. Think like they would. Come up with ideas and things that they would like to see in what you build. Always put them first and try to get in their heads. This is not about you showing off your skills or impressing people. It's about making your prospective customer say, ah, I need that right now. Gimme, gimme, gimme. That's when you've cracked the code and you'll develop your raving fans and lifelong customers. Step 5. Build it and sell it. Source your material, find the most inexpensive ways to build your projects, without sacrificing quality of course. Build a showcase product and take some high-quality pictures. Don't skimp on this one. People like great pictures. Think backdrop, good lighting, no shadows, etc. Now price it, post it, and promote it. These topics are covered all over the internet, so do some Google research if you need help in this area. Woodworking projects that sell, make more money with your hobby. 1. Floating shelves. This is from Krista at Remodelaholic. She uses Naughty Alder in her tutorial and finishes with a gel stain. These are obviously options that you could change. But the build is done right, with a solid and sturdy torsion box style construction. She basically is using a table saw to rip the pieces down to the right width, and joinery is all glue, screws, and a finish nailer. This makes for a simple project that is well put together and should last a lifetime. I love it. If you don't have a table saw, you can buy certain types of boards at pre-cut widths, or you can have the guys at the store rip them for you. Then use your miter saw to cut the final lengths when assembling. These are really popular right now and you shouldn't have any problems selling them. I would scope out your competition on sites like Etsy and get some inspiration and ideas to make yours better than theirs. 2. Chalkboard Shelf Unit Here's a simple DIY knockoff build of an otherwise pricey and great-looking chalkboard shelf unit. The build was done by Scott at Saws. On. Skates. The joinery requires no glue, just pocket screws using a Craig jig. But before attaching, he rounds over each board for this look. 
Mel brackets painted black wrap each corner for good looks. After applying the stain and finish to the shelf unit, he cuts the chalkboard backing down to size with a circular saw and attaches it using finish nails. Obviously, you can use different tools than mentioned here, as this is just a guide with his methods and his chosen finish, which can be anything you want. I plan on trying this using pine one piece with a dark chestnut finish, as that would better match the other furniture I've built. Other than that I really like this style and I think Scott did a great job on this build. 3. Box Shelves Built on the cheap and with superior quality, this great-looking box shelving unit was put together with a full tutorial with pictures from Family Handyman. He even offers suggestions to turn this into a more formal style versus the rustic look pictured here. This is basically a collection of single boxes which he details how to build individually. Some you can put the backing on, others leave it off so the wall can be seen behind the shelf. The construction is done with glue and nails. Then stain or paint however you prefer. When hanging, you can attach them all together with screws, and he offers his methods for hiding the screw heads. This project, or most anything that falls into the wooden wall decor category, should do pretty well online. 4. Wood Framed Magnetic Chalkboard Built with basic tools, from Anacosti Life, this interesting and handy magnetic chalkboard is sure to sell. I would use a scroll saw, she uses a jig saw. Just use whichever you have, obviously, her tool of choice is less expensive. She uses galvanized sheet metal for the back so it's magnetic, and cheap. Remember this, to sell these craft projects online, or locally, you need to keep costs down so you still have a decent margin for profit while still pricing competitively. Low. You can get chalkboard paint that gives it the finish shown here. Very good and very cheap build and these sell very well online. 5. Cedar Chest. This was built entirely from fence boards, so it costs the guy nothing. If you actually do this with store-bought cedar wood boards, you'll be paying quite a bit, but can also demand a higher price when selling. Just keep in mind, shipping these larger projects adds to costs, so selling this locally may be more practical than selling online for some people. The construction of this chest is entirely screws and nails, so it's very simple and easy to put together. 6. Drink Caddy Over at Dremel.com they'll show you how to build this wooden beer caddy. It's a pretty handy drink carrier that you can use when entertaining, or drinking heavily, if that's your thing. Their instructions would have you use their Dremel tools for every step of the process. But it's pretty simple to figure out how to make these cuts and pieces using other tools, depending on what you have. Final assembly of the project, which includes flat boards and dowels, will be with glue and nails, or screws. 7. Bedside Docking Station Here's a very handy charging station that Christine made over at pinspiretaji.com. She lays out the individual cuts required, angles, board thickness, and very good details on assembly. Joinery is done with wood glue and a brad nailer using one one quarter and brad nails. Her entire process is detailed with high quality photos and instructions. This is a fantastic tutorial. This type of project pertains to just about anybody and everybody, which means while it may not sell for a lot of money, you can definitely market to everyone and make good profits by selling in volume. 8. Baby Gym this baby gym is a very popular item in online markets, think Etsy. This one was made with a full tutorial with pictures over at instructables.com. It's basically built with a miter saw, a drill, and a random orbital sander. Just be sure that any finish or paints that you use with this project are food grade. And they use screws in the dowel, which I would advise against, that screw could work loose over time and fall out. This could be done with a small dowel glued in a hole drilled through the main dowel. But overall this is an easy build and falls into the category of great woodworking projects that sell, as parents are some of the biggest shoppers online. 9. Toy Cars and Trucks This kid's toy set from the ProjectLady.com is a simple and cute little gift. These kinds of toys can really sell well, you just need to make sure they look fun and colorful. They're really cheap to make, so you wouldn't be able to charge much individually. So it may be best to package them in larger sets. While I know for a fact this would come out very nicely, and much easier, with a scroll saw. You can get away with using a jigsaw on these. If you're using a jigsaw, I would take a couple runs at it and don't get your hopes up until you are sure you want to deal with that much sanding. Whereas a scroll saw doing these cuts would leave a nice smooth finish if done properly. 10. Scrapwood Wall Art Here's a simple project that was done on Fix This Build That. Great project resource by the way, and this type of thing sells really well on places like Etsy. It's a cheap project, which you can literally make from all scrap cutoffs you may already have laying around. 
This one will require a bit more creativity since the layout and design will completely depend on the pieces of scrap wood you have. This can be a really good thing because each piece you build will likely be a unique, one-time piece. And don't forget to check out Earth's largest collection of 16,000 woodworking projects by clicking the first link in our description. If you like the video then make sure to hit that like button. Also if you want more woodworking tutorials please consider subscribing our channel for more contents every day. Thank you for watching and let me know what you think of this video in the comments below.